Hello children, good morning. How are you all doing? Today's story is Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Yes, here we go. Long time ago, near a forest, there lived a little girl named Goldilocks. She had golden color, beautiful hair. And so people used to call her Goldilocks. Goldilocks was a little, you know, she was little naughty and she used to play in the garden with butterflies, plucking some blueberries, plucking some beautiful flowers. Okay, one day it so happened that Goldilocks went deep into the forest in search of some more beautiful flowers and fruits and she got lost in the forest. After a long walk in the forest, searching for her home, Goldilocks became very tired. And then she walked and walked and approached a little cottage. And you know children, the cottage belonged to the three bears. The strong and powerful father bear, the daddy bear and the most serious mama bear and the cute little tiny baby bear and these three little bears they used to stay in the cottage it so happened that the mama bear prepared porridge and when they were about to have the porridge it was so hot so they thought oh why don't we go for a walk in the forest by the time we return the porridge gets cool so that we can eat it said the mama bear so all these three bears went for a walk in the forest and it was that time that Goldilocks approached the cottage. When she came to the cottage she knocked at the door but there was no response from inside. She pushed the door as it was not locked it opened and she went inside. Wow I could smell something very tasty. I'm feeling very hungry let me search if I can get something to eat she thought to herself and then when she walked she found a table with three bowls of porridge wow what a tasty meal and then saying this she went and sat in front of the father's father bear's bowl and he tasted it oh no this porridge is too hot it burnt my tongue she said to herself then immediately she jumped to Mama Bear's place and then again she tasted it. Oh no, this too is very hot. I don't want it. Saying this sadly, she came and sat near the baby bear's table. And then when she tasted it, wow, this is act. I really loved it. Saying this, she completed the entire porridge. I said, ha, oh, now it's fine. I'm feeling better. She said, and then she walked across the room and found three chairs. The big chair that belonged to the father bear, the little medium chair that belonged to the mama bear and the tiny little chair that of the baby bears. First Goldilocks went and sat on the father bear's chair. Oh, this is too big for me. She got down. And again she went and tried to sit on mama bear's chair. Oh, this too is not comfortable. Saying this, she got down and finally came and sat on the baby bear's chair. and said, oh, this is very nice. I feel fine here. It's very good. Saying this, she moved here and there. Tuck. The chair leg broke down. Oh my God. She startled and she got up. And then she was feeling very sleepy. What do I do now? I have to go home, but I'm feeling very sleepy. Saying this, Goldilocks went inside and found a bedroom. And in the bedroom, children, there were three beds. The father bears, the mama bears and the baby bears. First, Goldilocks went and slept on the father bear's bed. Oh, this is too hard for me. It's so painful. I can't rest on it, she said to herself. And then she got down and tried to sleep on mama's bed. Oh my God, this is almost pulling me inside. It's too soft. I can sleep here. Then she jumped from mama's bed and came to the baby bear's bed. And then 
Ah, this is quite comfortable. And then she slept. After some time, what happened, children? The three little bears returned home. Oh my God, the things are here and there. I think some must be here. And then they were very hungry. So they all sat at the table. And Father Bear said, Hey, I think my porridge has been tasted by somebody. And the Mother Bear said, Even I feel the same. Somebody has tasted my porridge too. And then the baby bear said, Oh, somebody has tasted my porridge and eaten it away. And she, he started crying. Oh my God, who it could be, they thought. And they all went inside. And there they found those three chairs. Father bear said, Somebody tried to sit on my chair. Mama bear said, Of course, I feel somebody tried to sit on my chair too. And the baby bear says, yelling, Oh, somebody tried to sit on my chair and they broke it too. <laughs> he started crying. And then they slowly walked into the bedroom. There, Father Bear's bed was clumsy. All the bed sheets here and there. Then he said, Somebody tried to sleep on my bed. Mama Bear says, Somebody tried to sleep on my bed too. See here how dirty it is. And baby bear says, somebody tried to sleep on my bed and she's still sleeping. Then all of them looked at the bed. Hearing that shrieking little voice of the little bear, Goldilocks got up from the sleep and she got scared. She was startled seeing the bears there. And she jumped out of the window and ran into the forest and ran and ran and ran. And then she reached home. And all these three bears were in a surprise. Who is she? Why is she here? Oh, poor thing. We have really scared her. Saying this, they returned back. That was the story of Goldilocks and the three bears. Did you all like it, children? Shall I bye bye? See you next time with a wonderful story. Till then, bye bye.